To prepare to stencil your multicolor hopscotch, start by using a piece of chalk to trace the outline. This chalk outline will be the guide for painting the multicolor squares within the outer lines. Roll or brush a suitable exterior pavement paint within the boundaries of the chalk lines. You may want to use painter's tape to keep from painting into another box, but this is not necessary. Once the first coat dries, go ahead and paint a second coat. For the alternating boxes, brush or roll your second color of exterior paint within the boundaries. Once dry, go ahead and paint a second coat here as well. After painting the boxes, remove the painter's tape. Line the hopscotch stencil back up so the outer lines overlap the background color. Before painting the hopscotch lines, mask off the numbers you don't want to be white. To use a spray box, place a cardboard box with the bottom pushed out on top of your stencil. Hold the nozzle below the top of the box while spray painting to contain the paint within the stencil boundaries. As you spray paint, overlap the box for full coverage. You may also use a brush with exterior parking lot paint with your stencil. Dip your brush in the paint, wipe off the excess, and lightly build the paint within the stencil design. The brush should not be dripping wet with paint or it could build on the sides or bleed beneath the stencil. To paint the numbers a different color, thickly build the base color of paint against the stencil edges. Then let dry. This layer of paint will confine the next coat of paint to the stencil boundaries. With your base color of paint dry, you can now paint the number color on top. Your brush should not be dripping wet. Lightly build the paint in about two coats. Paint right up to the stencil edges for complete coverage. Paint all of your numbers in about two coats, keeping in mind that the base layer of paint will prevent stencil bleed. With all the numbers painted, you may lift off the stencil to see the results. Looks great, but notice that there are still breaks in the lines. Here's how to fill those in quickly. Hold a putty knife to the surface as a straight edge and use a brush to fill the break with pavement paint. Repeat on both sides of all breaks until you have solid lines. Using the techniques in this tutorial, you can brush and spray your hopscotch to be any color you desire. Thanks for watching. For more information, check out stencilese.com.